Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Lil Durk, one of the biggest names in drill rap, has been arrested in South Florida in connection with a murder-for-hire plot. If you're curious about the dark details behind this case and what led to his arrest, stick around as we delve deep into this shocking story that's making headlines worldwide. The arrest of rapper Lil Durk, born Dirk Devante Banks, has stunned both fans and critics alike. Known for his Grammy-winning music and association with Chicago's drill rap scene, Lil Durk's legal troubles have escalated to unprecedented levels. On Thursday, the U.S. Marshals Service confirmed his arrest in South Florida following a federal investigation. Court documents allege that Banks is not only a celebrated rapper, but also the leader of a Chicago-based rap collective known as Only the Family, or OTF, which prosecutors say operates as a gang involved in violent crimes. According to reports from the Broward County Sheriff's Office, Banks allegedly placed a monetary bounty on an individual who was reportedly a rival in a long-standing feud. Court documents name this individual as TB, with the feud allegedly tracing back to the tragic events of November 6, 2020. On that day, Davon Bennett, famously known as King Vaughn, and a close friend of Banks, was murdered by an associate of TB. Following Bennett's murder, Banks allegedly sought revenge, offering payment to track, stalk, and kill TB. Nearly two years after King Vaughn's death, in August 2022, a violent confrontation took place at a gas station in Los Angeles. OTF members, according to the Department of Justice, allegedly fired 18 rounds into a vehicle, hitting TB's family member, SR, who tragically lost their life. This brazen act not only caused a death, but endangered the lives of numerous bystanders, turning a personal vendetta into a public threat. The complaint filed against Banks, along with four other alleged co-conspirators, includes charges of murder, murder for hire, and conspiracy to commit murder for hire resulting in death. The DOJ's statement emphasizes the devastating impact of these crimes, with U.S. Attorney Martin Estrada labeling the act as callous and cold-blooded. Prosecutors allege that Banks used his influence and financial resources to fund the hit, even instructing the associates handling logistics to avoid leaving any trace that could link the flights to him. As of Friday, Banks has made his first court appearance at the C. Clyde Atkins U.S. Courthouse in Miami. His attorney, Alec Ubieta, has requested privacy at this time, declining to comment further. In the upcoming weeks, Banks and the other accused individuals will face arraignment in Los Angeles federal court, where they each could face life sentences if convicted. This shocking case comes as a major blow to Banks' career. Known as one of the primary forces behind the Chicago-based drill rap genre, Lil Durk has made waves with his Grammy-winning collaboration with J. Cole on the track All My Life. His albums, The Voice and 7220, both achieved platinum status, with a new album slated for release soon. Yet, as his career reached new heights, so did the scrutiny of his connections to Chicago's street culture, particularly through lyrics that many argue glorify gang violence. In a genre often criticized for its ties to real-life violence, Lil Durk's case raises questions about the thin line between art and reality. Did he truly use his fame and fortune to pursue revenge, or is there more to this story than meets the eye? As the case develops, we'll be here to keep you updated on every twist and turn. Thank you for tuning in. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss a future update on this case and other stories like it. Drop a comment below. What do you think about Lil Durk's arrest? Are you shocked by these allegations, or did you see this coming? Let us know.